So in this session, uh, so I'm going to cover uh, control flow activities, and uh, so there are uh, several control flow activities in UI Path Studio. So uh, those are the activities, you know, most important activities. So in a process, at least uh, we may get a chance to use those control flow activities. I think without control flow activities, uh, we can't, you know, uh, develop a bot. I say. Okay, so click on process and uh, name it like you know control flow activities. Okay, then click on okay, and now uh, the process is uh, getting loaded, and here you click on uh, main uh, workflow and uh, the, leave it as it is the main workflow and go and create a new uh, folder that is control flow okay and go to activity uh, uh, panel so if you type control here and you will see uh, there is a control flow activities assign uh, cancellation scope do while and see for each multiple assign and uh, parallel parallel for each these are the activities we use to call control flow activities okay so from this so first i'm going to cover what is assign okay and click on new sequence go to design tab and click on new sequence and here let me add assign as an activity okay so drag and drop these as an activity okay here you see this assign activity contains uh, save to and value to save okay so this assign activity actually uh, uh, in a process we often use this assign activity okay mm. uh, and also we uh, this assign activity is used to do store a value uh, into a variable and also we can use this assign activity to, to manipulate our data right so let's say if i created a variable like uh, employee name and uh, the variable type is string and you can call your employee name here and you can add your employee name here and this is kind of variable storage and also for uh, data manipulation you can do for uh, string manipulation and uh, the number calculation or mathematical operation anything you can do with uh, this assign activity okay so this as an activity uh, we have a property so property that uh, to store a values and uh, to create a variables okay and that's it and also uh, so we have a uh, one more uh, as in that is a multiple as in activity and a drag and drop multiple as in activity and uh, so here uh, so let's say uh, you are in the loop okay and you are in the data table loop and uh, so you want to get uh, multiple column values and uh, don't use this as in uh, multiple as in activity and if you are using multiple as in activity you know like uh, like this and each and every as in activity will be executed right so instead of using multiple as in activity you can use uh, sorry instead of using yeah instead of using multiple uh, uh, single as in activity you can use this multiple as in activity okay let's say here i'm storing employee name and let's say here i'm going to store uh, employee age and here i'm storing, going to store employee employee uh, salary okay so in this case uh, if you use uh, this multiple assign activity okay you can call your uh, variable here let's say employee uh, name first then add click on add button and add employee uh, uh, age then followed by here employ salary so this is how you can uh, add your uh, variable and also you can add your value so here uh, so the difference between assign and uh, uh, this multiple assign so if you are you know place the single assign activity you can able to see the property here but here if you use multiple assign activity and uh, so here you know there is no property panel here 
so you need to uh, change your values here itself okay and one more thing uh, say example no uh, here i have a employee or name and here employee age so if i want to move something uh, here in the down and you can switch your uh, rows as well okay and also uh, the entire uh, i mean in a single execution so all the value will be stored in a respective variable so that is the difference between assign activity assign single activity and assign multiple activity Okay.